What is going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today we're going to be talking about a new microphone that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. We're actually listening to it right now. It's the new Kamika CBM VM20 microphone. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and we can jump right into it. Now this is not typically how I would set up the audio for a video like this, but I did want you guys to hear exactly what this microphone sounded like. I've been using this mic for the last couple of weeks, and to be honest with you, I've been really, really impressed. Some of these features might seem really small to some people, but when you're out in the field and you're using this equipment day in and day out, they do become extremely useful. Now one of the first things that you'll notice is that this microphone is nice and small and lightweight. If you decide to pack it as is into your bag or your case, it's gonna fit pretty much anywhere, but it does also come with its own carrying case. I do like using smaller gear on my rigs as it makes them lighter, but sometimes the disadvantage of that is the quality isn't quite there. But I can tell you with this microphone, that's definitely not the case. It's got a nice metal body to it and the quality feels really good. Now, another thing that I really like about this microphone is that it has a rechargeable battery that can be charged with a micro USB cable. I've been using a Rode video mic for the past two or three years, and every time I need to change that 9 volt, I dread going through that process. However, with this microphone, all you have to do is plug it into a micro USB cable. This microphone has two low cut frequencies at 75 and 150 hertz. It also has a built-in LCD screen that gives you your battery readout. And now probably my favorite feature of this microphone is the variable potentiometer on the rear of the unit. This allows for some really smooth audio adjustments on the fly. A lot of the onboard camera microphones have stepped audio controls. So if you're using that in the middle of a take, you're gonna notice a big jump in your audio. However, with this microphone, you have a nice smooth transition to the lower or the higher audio levels. This is something that I didn't know that I needed until I started using this microphone. But because of that feature, it has lived in my camera case ever since. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the new Kamika CVM VM20 microphone. I'm really curious to see what you guys are using for your onboard camera microphone, so let me know down in those comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That stuff really does make a difference to us here on the channel. I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of the video, and I will see you in the next one. But until then, make sure you check out GearFocus.com for any of your gear buying or selling needs. And remember, GearFocus is always here to help you feed your passion. Peace.